Cool temperatures, 53 and overcast in Statesboro. Not expecting any rain, however. Now Nevada won the coin toss, but elected to defer. So Georgia Southern will get the football first. Kevin McKelvey about to kick to Carl Miller, who stands at the five. The title game is underway. Miller will take it from the seventh. Look out, Carl Miller across the 40. In the Nevada territory and down at the 44. Brock Marion on the tackle. We told you it's going to be wide. And Miller stays in on a wing to the right. On first down, an inside handoff to the fullback, Joe Ross. Now they do not have a tight end. Colos outside guys, wide blockers. Goes deep and gets maybe a yard. Matt. Throws throwing for the first time. No, he pump fakes and keeps it and gets the first down. A 10-yard gain after a very emphatic pump fake. You know, I think Gross had all intentions of throwing the sprint out. He looks down right now and sees Belser goes to throw, but sees the man coverage close down on it. Now, they know because of the activity of the Nevada defense, as aggressive as it is, they can cut back and find creases, and that's what he did for the first. First down from the 30. Slot formation to the right. Option left. Gross. Another 10-yard gain. I believe it's another first at the 20-yard line. A throw down a row, but he's out with an knee injury. Tim, it was a first down. On the carry by Gross, and he keeps it again. This time, a four-yard gain. Against Nevada here this afternoon. Second and seven, Raymond Gross. The flex bone master keeps it on the hip. And a short gain sets up about third and four. Block formation to the right. Sorrell and Belser. But they pitch it to Ross. First down, Georgia Southern and more. Touchdown. Ross is still not 100%. He has a banged up knee, but he exploded on that one. Mike Dallas on the extra point. Kick is good. Hooks it right through. 7-0, just three minutes and 26 seconds into this contest. First thing you should look for is number 63, Wilson, in the offensive line gets a good close down block. Then the kick comes, and look at number 25, Hopkins out front. Ross takes it down the side. There's absolutely no flood control, no containment. It's a wide open lane, and Georgia Southern leads 7-0 early. Three at Paulson Stadium if they win today. There's the kick by Don Norton. Comes to Tremel Taylor. Timmy talked about him in the open. Taylor tries to switch sides and gets knocked down. A lot of the pressure off Taylor. We told you he has 84 receptions. Well, Ortega came out of nowhere this year to get 79, so you can't really double Tremel. First play from scrimmage for Nevada. Little completion over to Whalen, and a good game. Near the first. Achiever. Tony Wells and Shari R. Pordonish. Second and one run, and they didn't advance the football at all. Running out Georgia Southern lines up and, and will defend things. Third down at one. Whalen's the single back. He gets the ball and the first. That's enough for the first right at the 30. This year, little Mike West in the middle. Love him. He's only 5'9", 208 pounds. First down throw by Gatlin on the money. He hits his guy, Ortega. Ortega inside of the 30 and down at the 26. A gain of holding against Reno. It was bought for three years by the Georgia Southern School. They had him here last year, the title game, this year and next year. Well, it's a bidding process. That's exactly right. You put in a bid. First and 20, draw play to Whalen and a gain of about four. It's just like women's basketball. Oh. They're tough everywhere. Georgia Southern's 10-game winning streak is the longest in Division I AA. 
The only loss this year by Nevada was a regular season matchup in the big sky against Boise State. Face mask penalty moves it back up. They get some of the yardage back, but still they had that 42 yard reception nullified by a holding penalty. But it's first and 11 from here. Incomplete pass in the area. Which is Southern lost three straight early in the year. They were one and three, then came back and won 10 straight. Three receivers in the game. Joe King joins the group on second and 11. Swinging it over to Whalen. Incomplete. And Mark Giles was in the area. Gatlin changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Gets away from pressure. And incomplete into pun. He has not had one block this year, however. Yeah, but he's also at 13 inside the 20. So he's effective. Fumble. And appears to be recovered by the Wolfpack. Eric Smith. Rodney Oglesby. From the 44 of Georgia Southern. Ray Whalen as they continue to try to establish the running game. Uh, I, I really look at myself like a Sam Mills, a guy who plays down in New Orleans. Same kind of size, same kind of speed. Nobody ever considered him much. Mike West is a walk-on. Was an outside linebacker last year. Eric Smith. Punishing hit after a... Zips it, complete to Ortega at the 30. First down, Reno at the 20. Dead ball, illegal snap on the offense, still first down. The illegal procedure called again. Nevada, it's Taylor in motion. Gatlin on the run. Whoa, what a catch. Ortega is from Maxwell, so he just kind of throws it off balance, lobs it out there. Call it second and 12. 6.30 to go in the first quarter. Another screen for Whalen. And tries to make a move on Maxwell, who stays. Third and eight. Gatlin will run for it. Wow, it pounded a time for the Wolfpack. And McKelvey, an excellent percentage this year, will try from 37 yards. And the kick, good. 7-3. Georgia Southern still has the lead here in the first quarter. The Wolfpack's on the board. And all of a sudden, he's saying Georgia. Look out for Carl Miller. He raced the first one back a long way. Here he is again. Out to the 29. To practice or class or has to study, just gets his game tapes, put them on, and Little Train sits there and watches them. Cross thought about pitching it to him, then keeps for a gain of about three. Of Nevada was telling us he'd like to have a pretty good balance in there. He'd like to throw 35 times and run the ball 40 times. There's a pitch, an errant one that goes out of bounds near the 35. The no call. It's third down and four to go. Out of the pocket, overthrows near midfield. Terry Harvin, the four-year punter at Georgia Southern. And a good boot. Fair catch called by Taylor back at the 18. That's between these two schools who met in the playoffs in the semifinals, in fact, back in 86. They played at Reno that year, and Georgia Southern won it. There are flags on the field as everyone seemed to jump. Being national title holder. We got offside on the defense, illegal shift on the offense. We play the down. L.V. McGinty and his crew from the Ohio Valley Conference. Well, they say everybody won football. He's 32, youngest head coach. First and 10 pass play over the top. Gatlin incomplete to Ortega. In the seven overtime periods. Second down and 10 to go. Overthrows Whalen. He reads all the defenses and then goes up and tells Coach Alt. 
Three receivers to the right on third down. Dangerous pass to Taylor, incomplete. Pulled by Rodney Oglesby, who stands at the 46. Ooh, there's a flag. They got the punter. A roughing penalty will be called. Well, was it roughing or running into? Running into the kicker. Five-yard penalty. Replay fourth down. Not an automatic first. <laughs> end over end, but over the returner's head. Now Oglesby fields it at the 30. Dives down at the 39 seats here but today they're expecting a crowd in excess of 25,000 inside run by Lester Eford first drive they came out everybody's probably kind of pumped up for the big game you know so seemed like it all settled down I think we just get them I see them running right now on the option with the pitch Jim Nance well that's Miller taking the pitch probably a yard shy of the first doc Kevin Sim, now he makes his great comeback and can't play in the championship game. Sad story. Third and less than a yard. First down run by Darrell Hopkins. No, actually, that was Alonzo. Lester Eford has replaced Ross. Fake to Eford. Pitch it now to Hopkins. Here's Hopkins in the clear. Down to the 20-yard line. Golf, look at this. This is a great run. And there's no contain guy outside for Hopkins. Eford on the run. He's a good, tough, solid running back. Second down play, six to go. Gross keeps it. Has the first down inside of the 10. This will end the first quarter. A no gain play. And the score is Georgia Southern seven and the University of Nevada three. We'll return to Paulson Stadium after this message and a word from your local station. A line of fog hanging over these Georgian pines in the southeastern portion of this state. Jim Nance along with Tim Brand and John Dockery, the Division I AA National Championship game. And the start of the second quarter. Hardly a sky in the clouds up there. <laughs> Here's a second and goal pitch. It's Miller making the cut and getting down to the one. Full house backfield, third and goal. Ross sails. No score. Mm. At the three and a half yard line, he goes over and the linebackers come up and they just turn him away. Look at this. Bang. Put him back on the one. Fourth and goal. Try it again. No. They hold him on a goal line situation. Offensive stand by Reno. Out of the end zone, Gatlin looking for Taylor, and he can't run it down. He's only four for 11 now, 30 yards. He's missed his last four passes. Second and 10, still throwing out of there. Hits Ortega, who makes the slant move back to the 11, comes in. They call Wayland's number, easily gets the first out to the 18. 10 from the 18. Ortega to 23. And no more. This is for 32 yards. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Ortega's the receiver wide to the left. He's got him. Incomplete intended for generally thrown ball by Fred Gatlin. Big hit put on by Tim Brown after the pass released. Third and four. Over the top. Complete for the first to Ortega. The All-American. Nevada first down run by Whalen. Near the 40. Michael Berry on the hit. Nevada takes over at the 36. Ray Whalen runs it. And a gain of about four. 
Oh, Georgia Southern leads in everything, including lost fumbles, too. Second and six, Whalen breaks one tackle, picks up the first. There's a nice piece of running. First down, Wolfpack at the 48. With a flag down, it's Whalen again, a gain of two. Penalty declined, second down. Illegal shift. Alan Maxwell has returned now at left guard. Comes out into the ball game. Ortega goes out. Ortega's hiding on the sidelines. Trick play. Makes the catch off the tip. And gains a Dawson got a hand on it to deflect it, slow it down. Otherwise, it may have been a score. Third down and six. And there he is again, Darius Dawson with back-to-back -back plays. Throw for Darius Dawson, true freshman from Moultrie, Georgia. Now Ortega punts. Vogel's feet. Gets to the 21. 39-yard punt by Ortega. 38 yards, yards return, seven on the return. Has not been as wide open as we had expected. As we bring you back inside Paulson Stadium. And a chance to talk with the legend around here. John Dockery is with him, in fact. Doc? Thank you, Jim. I'm with Eric Russell. And Eric, I want to ask you a question. Why in the world would a successful defensive coordinator at Georgia leave there to come to a school that hasn't had football since Pearl Harbor and coach a bunch of vagabonds in secondhand uniforms? It sounds crazy. Why did you do it? Well, John, I'm sure a lot of people thought I was crazy, and maybe I was, but for new and different uh, challenges and experiences, not that I was in a rut at Georgia, we had just won a national championship, but this place excited me. The president, Dale Lick at that time, wanted a football team, and he wanted it to be Division I, and I thought that would be real interesting. Coach, I want to ask you how you did it from a club football team to a national championship after this play. This play, Gross keeps it, needs a block to set him free. Oh, and he got a good one. A good block by Belser and Eford. 27 yards. He faked to Eford, and then upfield got a block from Belser. 82 yards running now for Raymond Gross. I can't figure out what the defense is doing. There's nobody out there to take the pitch, man. The safety's got to come up and support on the run, and they're not doing that. They're getting some outstanding blocking, though, from their backs and their wide receivers, and Gross is just making that option work all afternoon. From the Georgia Southern 48, it's Eford into Nevada territory. After a gain of four, let's go back to Doc. Uh, thank you, Jim Nance. Uh, Coach, I was asking you, how do you go from club football one year to a national championship a mere four years later? Well, we had good players. The players who played good together had great support from our administration, student body, faculty, and we had a lot of luck. you got to have that. Uh, well, you're a legend around here three times, Coach of the Year. Jim? Gross on the keep after some good fakes. Picks up the first inside of the V6 and 89. First down play, Eford, a gain of a yard. The option. Second and nine inside again. Eford, ball comes free, recovered by Nevada. Xavier Carey on the third was denied once on a goal line stand by the Nevada defense. Now the Wolfpack from its 30. Double tight end set. Ray Whalen. Written down by Shane Maxwell. Ken Mizell, the defensive coordinator, talking about the Georgia Southern offense. He's talking about those assignments we were just talking about. You've got to take all three people in that type of attack. Second and eight, no gain for Whalen. By Georgia Southern, but they've got to get something going offensively to protect their defense. Taylor to the left, Ortega to the right. Third down, eight to go, and Gatlin again is sacked. Tim, he's that kind of player. He's big, strong, and quick, and he's smart. And he missed last week against Central Florida with a sternum injury. Back in the lineup today, and a big play there. 
still the pressure remains on Ortega, but gets it away once more. Oglesby with a flag down back at the 20. Holding on the kicking team, decline, first down. This first half of moving at a wrap. Georgia Southern still clinging to that 7-3 to three lead over Nevada in the Division I AA championship game. Jim Nance along with Tim Brand and John Dockery and ready for action. The Eagles from their 43-yard line. Wrestled down after a one-yard gain, Matt Clafton on the tackle and Tim you times and it's really taken out of the rhythm otherwise they've been dominating this game against Nevada Nevada has to feel very fortunate right now just being down seven to three second and nine looking long going long the man is out there and it's caught inside of the ten by Terrence Sorrell Nevada, Nevada, Jim, plays a lot of man coverage. They take pride in the fact they can bump and run. This time, Duckett gets locked on on the wide receiver, and he comes out and watch this, man-to-man -man coverage, and he's behind him. Completion to Terrence Terrell. First and goal from the He had one foot in, and Sorrell, their deep threat, gets him inside the 10. From there, Gross keeps. Gross scores. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Explosion. Gross to Sorrell for 49 yards, then to keep for the score. And the extra point by Dallas is good. He gets good. That makes the score. Georgia Southern 13, Nevada 3. Boy, you've got the big pass to Sorrell. They find Duckett gets caught behind him. They come right back with the option, which has been successful all day. And there he is. Gross just takes it himself, tucks it under. That's a lot of progress for a quarterback, a senior who came in here. Sales out of bounds. The re-kick from the 30. Taylor from the 8. Jamel Taylor to the 20. And walloped at the 26 by Don Hudson. Just to coach of the big sky. At Idaho. Here, Nevada completes it on first down. Tramiel. They need some explosion out of Taylor. Second and four. And a screen to Whalen. Flag on the ground, as you see. Bouncing around like a pinball and tackled at the 30. Tackle. Flag on the field. Less than two minutes to go here in the opening half. Second and nine. Man is open, Eric Smith, and he stepped out short of the first. Whalen has the first. Out to the 45. Nice open. Greg Gumbel and Mike Francesa coming up at halftime college football today. Screen pass to Keith Washington. You hear the hits as he goes down at the 45. Whoop. Less than a yard shy of the first on second down. That gets him the first. Michael Barry on the tackle. And off to Ray Whalen. 40 seconds on the clock. Needing a score right before the intermission. They're driving. First down for him. Goes for the long ball. Ortega's out there. Batted away by Oglesby. Boy, 
Boy, you know the thing is, too, Ortega thinks he's open. Look at 83 running down here. Here comes Oglesby. They say, here's another guy that could play in the NFL. He has the school record for career interceptions with 12. He's very quiet, but extremely confident. Came back, played the corner, knew exactly where the sidelines were and how he could close on the football. Outstanding play. 33 seconds left in the second quarter. And it away again, this time by Jim Udimer. Third and ten. Intended for Ortega. Three seconds left in the second quarter. Trailing 14-3. There's all kinds of room. First down. And stops the clock at the 22. With 13. But he's covered in the zone. Packs it away. Knows where the sticks are. Gets him. Watch him try to stay in bounds. Whoop. And then goes out. 13 seconds left in the second quarter. One timeout to work with. Throws it away. Incomplete. Tremel Taylor was in the area. They throw a late flag. Flag on the play. You can't call that grounding because Taylor was within three or four yards of it. I thought it was a very smart play. He knew he was going down. He was getting sacked. Well, it is against Nevada. Not going to try anything fancy. They'll attempt the 44-yard field goal with eight seconds left in the half. McKelvey already won for one on the day. This from 44. Sails through the uprights and puts Nevada within eight. This is 30th. On the scoop, Georgia Southern's Whitehead. How about this run? That'll end the first half. Nevada did not get a touchdown. Two field goals in the opening half for Nevada. Two touchdowns by Georgia Southern. So the score is 14-6 Eagles. CBS Sports coverage of college football will continue after this message. The sun has broken through the clouds, the low clouds. High fog this morning. Kick by North takes Taylor seven yards deep. He'll down it for a touchback. That won't. They've got to get Taylor involved. Gatlin remains the quarterback. It's a free play. And a loss of two with a flag on the field. Offside on the defense, five-yard penalty, still play first down. For this one. the carry on first and five and just past the line of scrimmage he gets coming off a 200 yard performance last week second and four Taylor on the short route does none to the near side on third and one throwing on the run low pass retrieved by Ross Ortega for a few that rhythm right here with a methodical drive on first down Whalen One-on-one -on -one tackle. The coaching profession. Mike West. Second down and nine. There's Whalen running free. Lost his footing here the first down. They'll spot it back at the 40. We had that kind of team coming off a conclusion of 89 where they won three straight to close out the year. Third down. He does not get it. Nick Davis. Of course, Michael Berry, they say, could be the best guy ever to play at Georgia Southern. He's still a backup. He's a junior. Started as a freshman. So last time I'm going to going to guess on one of those. Drove for a field goal right before the half. Coming right back now. A touchdown and a two away from tying it. Ortega, look at the move he makes. And gets down to the 42. That's another first down. 230-pound linebacker, or left defensive end. Whalen back to the line of scrimmage. Smith and Busoletti on the tackle. Swale in the ball carry. I'm sure Georgia Southern even knew what happened. Second and ten with three receivers in. Pass all the way. 
Dangerous pass. Off his pass. Off his back foot. Almost caught on the rebound. Incomplete, it's ruled. Kevin Whitley was third and ten. Now with his feet planted, going to King at the five and down at the one. By Kevin Whitley, flag on the field. It's going to be interference against Georgia Southern, I'm sure. Defensive pass interference, penalty declined, first down. And first and goal from the one. 11th play of the drive. It's Whalen with a flag down, dropped at the seven. Play, that'll be nullified. Offside on the defense, replay the first down. It's exactly right, it's against Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern penalized for offside. Georgia in the two. First and goal from the one, straight ahead, Whalen. Knocks heads and does not. Second and goal from the one. Whalen again. It's time. He is stopped again. It's the same third and goal from the one. Straight ahead. And Whalen maybe even lost a yard. Did you see how deep he lined up? He had to run five yards before he got to the line of scrimmage. Okay. Offensive line surge, Georgia Southern wins that. Whalen loses yardage. He was actually outside the five-yard line when he lined up, had to run almost five yards to get back to the line of scrimmage, and by then, Georgia Southern had already penetrated. Wolfpack will attempt the field goal. They will not go for it on fourth and goal from about the two-yard line. This will be a 19-yard attempt. Too much time? Right on the field. Play clock is at zero. So a goal line stand in the first half by the Wolfpack, and now the Eagle defense. The Eagle defense shuts him down from the one. And Mikkel Holder, Mike McCone on the snap. Kick on the way, and the kick. Hold on a minute. No go. He had made kicks from 37 and 44 yards, and he misses the chippy. Jim. <laughs> Taking over at the 20. Gross on the keep, and a first down run out to the 33. First and 10 from the 33. Inside to Ross. He scored the game's opening touchdown. He I really enjoy, and I think that Division 1A should adopt it. I think they should, too. I think they should look at it very closely. Second and five, and a loss of a yard on the keep by Gross. If the game ends in a tie, here's what happens. The referee decides which, which sides the other team does it. Now Nevada advanced to the finals by winning back-to-back -back games in triple overtime, three overtimes. Third and six. Gross gets the first. Someone reached out for him, which is unusual because that's one of the advantages that the offense has over the defense, but they just like the rhythm and the repetition. First and 10 play action fake. Gross, the ball touched the ground. They didn't call it dead. But now he's tackled at the 40. There's very little anyway because he only gained another yard. You lose the football in a hurry that way, though, isn't it? Can't you? It's dangerous. Just like that. Picked up in midair by Nevada. Matt Clafton. And the fourth turnover today by Georgia Southern. Well, you mentioned the way he was carrying it was extremely dangerous. Gets hit, pops, and the pick. Another turnover, Georgia Southern. Boy, they're doing their best to keep Nevada in the football game. There's the hit, head on, tucks his tail, skies his eyes, puts his name right there, and then Marion comes up with the big hit. Deep town, Dublin, California is his hometown. Jim, just have the feeling that Nevada's ready to explode. They've had all the opportunities, squandered them, but they're ready to roll now. You have that feeling. Eric Smith bangs heads after picking up the first. I agree. I can. Nevada set up at the 30. Delay give, Whalen. Fumbles the ball. Maybe the first turnover today for the Wolfpack. 
fight for it on the ground. Georgia Southern has it. Short. One yard plunge. Put on a lot of weight since he's come to college. He's got four or five speed. That'll get you into the league anyway. Get you a look. Dangerous pitch. Ross fields it. And then goes out of bounds after a gain of about five. Frank it's Sullivan was taking out Raymond Gross as he made the pitch. Ross saved that play. Look at him shake his head saying, quarterback, you have to assign those. Idaho went to a 6-1 defense to try to stop this offensive attack. Ross up the middle. Spins for a gain of four on 38 left in the third quarter. Rusty Parrish snaps it to Gross. Comes in and is walloped from behind by D.O. Ship. Raymond Gross, tackled by number 90. Now they call Ship. Ship the Immobile Championship. It's eluded him every time. Third down play, third and five, and zips it complete. Miller. Miller makes a move to get free and out of bounds all the way down. Gets the football to the 30. He's out of there now on this play. McGee replaces him, but it's Ross. No, it's Gross. Now the pitch. A great move. And down to the two is Daryl Hopkins. A gain of 28. Playing at home. The crowd is fired up. And now there's more confidence than ever with Raymond Gross. Gross runs this option. Watch him now. Feels the backside pressure. Crosses the line. Takes it up. Nine yards before he finally releases it. Knows the trail man is there at all times. And Hopkins takes it down inside the five, close to the three. First and goal from there. Timeout called by Nevada. What a fake by Raymond Gross. I mean, he stuck that football right into the belly of Joe Ross and took it back away, ran the option to set him up now for another possible score. Well, for the Bills, that means Frank Wright out of the University of Maryland comes in now. Gross on the pitch. Hopkins on the touchdown. really set up the touchdown with a long run. Now the extra point from Mike Dowis. He kicked the winning field goal in last year's game against Stephen F. Austin to win the title. Kick. I believe it was partially blocked, and it's no good. That is a team a year ago had one player drafted, and that was Ernest Thompson by Kansas City in the 11th round. He's on their injured reserve list. I like Hopkins' average today, almost 20 yards a carry. It's Taylor on the run back with a flag down, and he gets to the 20, maybe the 21. Clipping on the receiving team doing the run back, penalty half the distance to the goal, first down. Washington's in the game as a running back. Look out for the safety. He's tackled at the one. Tackle by Alex Mash, another true freshman. Keith is the wing teague short yardage guy. They try to spread the front. He's the short yardage goal line guy. They're carrying it down. You're just trying to bang it out. Second and 15 from the end zone. Ortega was turned around at the 20. Now Chris Vargas has jumped right in front of him, just kind of got in his way, just to let him know he's there. He's ready. <laughs> Third and 15. That's not near a Wolfpack player. Ryan O'Donnell will snap it back. Ortega's had a couple close to being blocked today. He has not had one all season, however. Good snap. You see the low boot out to the 29. Oglesby on the run back. Submarine at the 20 with a flag down. Obviously, because it'll move him back a little bit. But I mean, you've got one return guy back there. 15-yard penalty, first down. 
Got one return guy back here, and you kick a low liner and get it right to him. Here's 49, just hits him right in the back right there. Moves the ball back to the 35. Ronald Johnson. So the football rests at the 35. Thank you for your cooperation. Sorrell to the right. Belser to the left. Eford is the fullback. Gross takes it out of Eford's belly and loses. Th Here's the pitch to Ross. Makes his 360 move and scoots out of bounds at this quarterback from Nevada that is a loss but a face mask on contact incidental at best Trey Hose had made the play two plays earlier against Gross Oh, yeah, but see, watch this. He makes an outstanding play. Watch, comes in, closes the quarterback. See big number 60 right there? That's Drejos. Now he reaches out, touches his face mask, lets it go immediately. Looks up and says, hey, wait a minute. I didn't do it. Puts his hands up. You know he got caught in there. It's just incidental, five yards. Well, they're marking it off 15. First down for Georgia Southern. Joe Ross. On what might be the... We welcome you to the final quarter of action. Playing for the ring. Determining who's best in Division I AA. Here's the pitch. Hopkins, touchdown, Georgia Southern. Touchdown, Bill Hopkins. Hopkins. Hopkins second touchdown. The extra point is good this time. A 21 point lead. Georgia Southern scoring on the first play of the final quarter. Long day for Amantia and Drejos, the outside contain guys. Gross has been like a magician. You've got to remember now, back to that face mask penalty on Drejos made a great play. Instead, he gets called for the face mask, gives them a first down, a new life, and this is how they capitalize. Darrell Hopkins just runs it in after the late pitch. Nice dive to cross the plane. They were telling me this week that he has tendonitis in both knees, 22-year-old with 35-year-old knees, but he's sure running without problems today. Well, they say the Eagles have great speed when they hit the perimeter. They're as dangerous as you can find. Gordon's kick. Retrieved by Taylor at the 13. And Taylor, who has run both a punt and a kick back. Gatlin, long pass on a line as well, but over everyone's head. To me, this is a vivid example of the power of suggestion, calling this creek beautiful, guys. <laughs> well, they got a new quarterback in, Doc. Here's a guy that uh, they believe has magic on the other side of the team field. And Vargas hands off to Ray Whalen. Boys in the playoffs. Third and seven. Watch him pass here. The hands of his receiver around and have a little talk with themselves, get mentally into this thing, or they might as well just pack up and go home now. Flag down as one man rushing was just knocked down illegally. And Oglesby returns it to the 35. It'll be holding against Keith Washington. Kick it away from him. Well, how about kicking it over? Back them up to the 44. And Oglesby is knocked down at the 49. Another flag down. They ran into the kicker again. This time, I believe it was Sean Austin.
Well, they did roll up into him. I don't think there's any question about it in this game. Personal foul, roughing the kicker against the defensive team. First down. Well, let me correct. Good catch by Taylor, making some moves to get free. And down at the 46. Gain of 15. That's complete to Taylor. Taylor came back for the pass. Tramel Taylor was a unanimous selection by his teammates as the team's MVP. That was in the area of Joe King. The 80s and holds most of the Nevada passing records. Second and 10. Over the top to Williamson. Picks up the first down yardage. Two tight end system, one back formation. That's the first pass today to a tight end. Trailing by three touchdowns in the hurry up mode. They need magic from Vargas. That time he just flat out over. Got him on the move. Eric Smith on the short pass. And drives for the first down at the 30. Back the first down play. Illegal motion called against the Wolfpack. Illegal motion on the offense. Five yard penalty. Replay second down. Taylor in a slot to the right. With the rush on him, Vargas sidesteps it and overthrows everyone. He's left in this game. Darius Dawson. All season long, they say, Darius Dawson has come up with the big plays, and the true freshman from Moultrie, Georgia, steps right in front of this one. He's the linebacker, just went back to his hook zone. Vargas never looked off his receiver, looked right at him and threw it right out there. All you have to do is just read his eyes right now, skate to the football, and then go to it. Pick it off at its highest point. You got the pick, you got the INT, and the football with a 27-6 lead and 12-04 remaining in the game. John Vaughn of Michigan was second. Mike Mayweather of Army was third. Raymond Gross. We're looking at him, but he's reading the defensive line at all times. Second and eight. Maybe a yard, maybe a yard is all. Kelly out for the season, Sims out for the game. Big news in that one, huh? I'm telling you. Wonder what the Dolphins are thinking. Gross launches it high and deep and out of the end zone. Dio deed it up. He brought everybody on Harvin. And his punt is out of bounds. At the 14, maybe the 15. He beat it up, huh? Guess you could call Gross a shipwreck. Got to be after that hit. Else, they kicked off. He made the tackle on the opening mm. kick. First down, Vargas. Again to the tight end, Williamson. His second catch of the game. Out to the 26. 10-12 left in the game. Jumping high, Peefers to the right, one to the left. Second and 10. There's another tight end catch. That's exactly right, and they can hit that all afternoon. They and Gatlin's in at quarterback. Throws it over to Washington, and a gain of about three. Second, we'll call it eight. Good catch by Whalen, but no gain on Vargas. He's a rush specialist for the Eagles. Probably see him here on third and nine. There's a catch by Taylor. Taylor out of bounds at the 32. Joe King is to the right.
Looking for Taylor. Almost intercepted. Second down, 10. 8.21 on the clock. And it's Gatlin back in at quarterback. He's got trips to the left. Back to Whalen he goes. Oh, what a tackle. On his back, Michael Berry. Watch this play. Here's 56, takes on the blocker, releases him, is on the ground, rolls over and makes the stop. The only problem is they said it sometimes he just gets goofy mentally. Vargas back in the quarterback on third and 10. He's dropped back now 20 yards, and that's probably a wise incompletion. Honest, it gets a pretty good block, just kind of pulls him from behind. Anything you can do to stop, give Smith. I'm out, Nevada. And as Smith comes anyway, just puts the little push on him, little shove. Now the Eagles are soaring indeed. Beautiful picture, isn't it? Sideline route. Caught by Ortega on the rebound. What a great catch. And complete to Ross Ortega. First down from the 17. Taylor across the middle. Taylor inside the 10. And a first down at the five that morning before the Miami game. First and goal for Nevada. Coming around with it is Smith. And it's stacked up at the two. And the Keith Washington is the single back. Second and goal from the three. He's usually the guy they go to in short yardage. Throwing for it. And Taylor incomplete. And then almost intercepted by Dawson. Put the ball right there between the one and the one. Should have been a touchdown. Third and goal from the three. There's the touchdown. Ortega. And McKelvey on the point after. Makes it 27-13. McKelvey keep, kicks it away. To Miller at the five. And to the 27. Exactly right. The key is stopping the quarterback, but they haven't been able to do it. Fake to Ross in the line, and Gross has it. Dives at the 48. Now under six minutes, and a first down for Southern. Needs about a yard, tackle by Drehos. Lester Eford is the fullback, second down and eight. They give it to Eford. Lafton makes the tackle along with Chris Wells, fourth national championship. And third and six, their 50th win in this stadium. How impressive is that? Look at Eford, bulldoze his way for the first. Boom, spins off another, comes and then just punishes the next tackler. Got to like that. Unless you're tackling him. First down run, Gross has it. Gain of about two, maybe three. Coming in a high pressure situation, replacing a legend down this way. Gross just falls on it. It'll set up the locker room for that. <laughs> they want all the coaches to shave their head if they win today. Third and six. There's another run for the first down. Hey, Daryl Hopkins. That could be the best hit of the day. See the guys in trying to shave the head and the wives coming up trying to defend their husbands. You know, they <laughs> don't right. want those heads shaving. Daryl Hopkins got a bound at the 25. Hopkins, again, it's the late pitch. Suckers everybody inside. Haven't been able to stop it all afternoon. First down. Big day for Hopkins. Five carries, 86 yards. Two touchdowns. First down from the 28. Just running the clock. 
Lester Eaton will pack all the way to the semifinals. This is the first time he'd ever got him to the championship game. It's a young team. We'll be surprised if they're right back here next year. Rose falls at the 24. It'll be third and six. Raymond. Excellent administrator. He'll be back. You're right. His team has only one timeout remaining, so that's why they have not been stopping it. Third and six. Incomplete. Terrence Sorrell trapped it. Boy, if he had completed that, that would have been magic. You know, that pass was supposed to be the little shuffle pass inside. He saw that it was covered, pulled it back, and then just went to a secondary receiver. Sorrell was downfield blocking. Saw that the quarterback, Gross, was in trouble, tried to turn around, and they almost completed it. Mike Dallas will attempt a 41-yard field goal. Dallas is the cousin. Tim mentioned it earlier, of D. Dallas, former Air Force quarterback. 41-yard boot. That's good. Exclamation point. 41-yard field goal by Mike Dallas is good. Come in to Taylor at the four. Now to the 23. Jim, while they sort out what's actually taking place, you mentioned, of course, that they had played Florida State. They want to play Georgia down the road and get that kind of rivalry going here. And Georgia Southern has pretty much dominated Division I AA. To move into Division I-A, which is one of their goals, obviously, as you mentioned early in the telecast, they would have to expand their stadium to 35,000, have to average 17,000. And that is part of their plan for the future. Right down in the end zone, the Morris and Ann Lupton building right down here, they've got plans and a design for that building of the stadium, the enlargement of this stadium right here. Penalty on the return, backs up Reno to the 11-yard line, and an incompletion stops the clock with 53 seconds left. In early October, one and three, they come back and take it all the way. Intercepted, Alex Mash will take it in. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. boys here they come <laughs> the goal post is already down with 44 seconds left come on folks let's clear the field it's not over still got some some plays ahead of us it's over it's not just time had expired of course it's the same goal post that came down in a hurry last year down in the student section how about that freshman big old 99 alex mash Freshman from Thomasville, Georgia, gets a touchdown in the title game. Boy, most defensive ends don't get a touchdown in a lifetime. He gets one as a freshman. Just read it all the way. Look at the eyes, watch the head, the shoulders. Drift the same way the quarterback is, make the pick. Oh, they're having some fun in Statesboro now. Oh, mercy. Look at the, look at the goal posts. Hey, those babies aren't cheap either. Looks like it ran into Hurricane Hugo. How about that story? They played a game. The day of Hugo right on this field. Extra points block doesn't matter. George Toma, the NFL ground crew from Kansas City, came out and said this is one of the greatest fields he's ever seen. Playing in a hurricane, the wind wasn't great, the rain was hard, but it all drained. They played right through Hugo. Of course, this Georgia Southern team's been like Hugo ever since. 
Powerful. Nobody's been able to stop it. Mark Trejos got a hand on the uh, extra point attempt. 36-13 with 44 seconds remaining. Taylor on the run back from the 24. Not able to really run any return back. 18 tackles for Clafton today. They will try to three-peat in 91. Jack Harris. Here comes Jack the other Harris. goal post now. Ladies and gentlemen, please get off the field. They count down the last five seconds as they stream on. Let's get down the dock. Thank you, Jim Nance. Coach, 32 years old, your first year on national championship. Can you describe the feeling? Well, this football team kind of dug itself a hole that showed a lot of care for coming back and winning 11 straight football games. I believe 52 football teams have come to our house and gotten beat, and number 50 just went home empty. We've only lost two here at Paulson State and Glenbride Field. That means really something special.